Okay, guys, Piggy Book 2 Chapter 10 is finally out. And oh boy, do we have a lot of stuff to go over. We've got the brand new Temple Map. We've got a bunch of crazy new notes. We've got two different endings, one with a mind-blowing reveal with a brand new character. We got some secret Morse code that we need to go over and talk about, among a bunch of other things. So real quick, before we get started, just like we do with every single new Piggy Chapter, we're going to be giving out some Robux cards in the comment box below. All you got to do to win a $10 Robux code is be subscribed to the channel and type your Roblox name down below in the comments. I'm going to randomly pick someone and I'll announce the winners in tomorrow's video. With that being said though, let's go ahead and let's start off with the story and then we'll move on to the skins, the notes, the Morse code and all of that. So this chapter picks up right where the last chapter left off. We were in Kona's uh, bunker building and we're going down into his lab. So we go down into his lab with Robbie and we find out that his lab is actually built into an underground temple that has apparently been there for hundreds, thousands of years. That's where we run into a giant spider, which is the bot of the map. Uh, pr pr pretty terrifying not gonna lie. And then once you solve all the puzzles and complete the map, this is where things start to get freaky. So there's two different endings here, and we're gonna talk about them both. Let's talk about the survivor ending first. So the survivor ending is what you get if you only save one, two, three, four, or five TSP members in the factory map. In order to get the savior ending, you have to save all six TSP members. So if you save any less than all of them, you will get the survivor ending. And the survivor ending is um, honestly kind of kind of meh. So what happens in the survivor ending is the group comes out of the lab. We kind of just sit there for a moment and Pony kind of talks about some weird things going on. It kind of feels like someone is behind the scenes pulling the strings, but we never really get any crazy reveals. Honestly, nothing really happens in the survivor ending. We just kind of escape the lab and then we move on to Outpost Echo, which is uh, this right here, which I don't think is even shown in the survivor ending. Honestly, I feel pretty bad for the people that got the survivor ending because um, compared to the savior ending, it is uh, not that good. So let's just go ahead and talk about the savior ending because this this is the big one. So with the savior ending, the group comes out of the lab, all right? And then the player starts having some weird flashbacks. We start seeing Doggy. We start seeing Bunny. We start seeing all the characters that we've lost before. We're teleported into this weird place with portals. And then this guy here shows up, this dude right here. It is not Mr. Stitchy. It is an entirely new character. I'm guessing based on Mr. Stitchy. He doesn't have a name. I'm just going to call him Dude Man, okay? So Dude Man shows up and basically reveals that he's been with us the entire time. He reveals that when we were attacked back at the piggy household, we should have been infected and that he's fascinated with us. He's confused by us because he's wondering why we weren't infected. And he basically says that we're immune. We're immune to the infection, which is why in chapter 12, the plant, Mr. P says he saw signs of the infection in us, but we weren't actually infected because we're immune. Dude man also reveals that he's been in our head the entire time, making us see things that aren't there. So like, for example, in the outpost chapter where we see ghost bunny, that was him in our head. In chapter 12, the plant at the end, when doggy and bunny show up and we're being chased around this weird like other dimension with all the maps in it you know the very end part of the plant that was all in our head this dude man guy has been messing with our heads the entire time along with other characters the reason mr p thinks we're ghosts and the reason why mr p is going crazy at the end of book one is because dude man is in his head making him see all these weird stuff same thing with georgie the distorted memory chapter the nightmare that he keeps having that is dude man in his head making him have all these nightmares honestly there's a lot to talk about when it comes to dude man I'm going to do an entire video on him here in a few days, so stay tuned for that. But basically what happens is Dude Man is like, hey, you want to you wanna join me? You want to like maybe uh, help me out here? I, I, you know, I got a lot of power. I can help you out. And the player is like, no, no, I don't want anything to do with this. Get out of my head. And then the player wakes up right as he's about to punch Pony. Because while all of this is going on, he is freaking out in the real life. Like his mind is in this weird, I, I don't even know what to call it, the underneath, I guess. Like his mind is in this room, but his body is actually in real life acting out everything he's doing in his head. So as he's punching stuff in his dream, he's actually doing that in real life. Does that make sense? Anyway, he's about to punch Pony. He wakes up. Pony's like, dude, what in the world's going on? You you, you saw the dude, right? Like, like you're, you're seeing the guy too. And Pony reveals that he's been seeing Dude Man uh, all this time. And Dude Man's been whispering in his head as well. And then Pony and Willow reveals that Pony did something really bad in the past. They don't reveal what, but it is hinted that Pony is the guy that gave Doggy the potion. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking Pony is the the guy that gave Doggy the potion all the way back in the forest. That's not confirmed, but that just seems to be what is being hinted at. Anyway, right before Pony can reveal what bad stuff he did, Mimi shows up and says that we need to start moving towards Outpost Echo, which is this place right here, which is the exact same place we see in the trailer. And right as the cutscene is ending, Kona gets on the radio and is like, hey, you guys better watch out. Some weird stuff is going on at Outpost Echo. And then the chapter ends. Now, as for Dude Man, we don't really know much about him other than he is some 
weird magic creature that is able to get in our head and seems to exist on an entirely different dimensional plane. Like, honestly, I don't even know how to describe it. I, I, again, though, I'll talk about it some more in some future videos. Let's go ahead and go over the notes. There are eight notes in this chapter. The first one is right here. It says, they say you can tell a lot from someone just by looking at them. After looking through personal records of many people, I've come to the conclusion that green eyes mean that they used to be very independent. Kona. So this means that any infected that have green eyes, green infected eyes, means that they used to be very independent cool. There's another note here that's by the exit door. It doesn't really mean anything. It's just kind of a hint as to how to solve the puzzle. So I'm not really going to go over it. There's no story stuff here. It's just, it's basically just a hint to help you solve the, the end puzzle of the map. The next note though says Robbie was one of the earlier prototypes. He got into trouble a lot. He was embarrassing out in public. Now I couldn't ask for a better friend. There's also a note here from the military that says our bombs are showing very little effectiveness against the hordes approaching. Outpost Echo has been silent but we must follow our orders and wait for a signal. Wait for a signal. Yep, yep, I'll be making a video on this. Next note is from Kona. It says, now the orange eyes, I've got nothing. They are all very different than the others, like very different. In the blink of an eye, they can travel a great distance. They are normally seen in packs. Of course, talking about the eyes of insolence, the infected with those. We've got a note that says, looks like I accidentally dug into a historical site twice. Well, hopefully the government doesn't find out. Got another note from the military that says, patient zero could not be found. However, we've tracked down one of the first subjects who have been administered the potion. We must act fast while the sample is still pure. Now, of course, patient zero is Miss P. She was the first person to become fully infected with the red eyes and all that, the first person to turn. So when they say they've tracked down one of the first test subjects, they're definitely talking about Penny. Well, I mean, she shows up in the trailer, so they're definitely talking about Penny. She was one of the first test subjects, so it makes sense. This is definitely Penny that the military has right here. And then the last note is actually some secret Morse code that is right above the exit door at the end of the map. Now, this Morse code has been deciphered, and it, it comes out to this right here. Now, unfortunately, um, I have yet to figure out what this means. It seems that whatever this is okay so scratch everything i was going to say here because literally as i was filming and editing this video it got solved this is what this morse code says basically minitune flipped the morse code upside down to trick us but this is what it says right here it says the second is six now this is actually a reference to a previous note back in the factory map there was a hidden note and on that note it said the first was four and now we have this note the secret morse code that says the second is six so i'm guessing in a future chapter there's going to be some sort of secret code we need to put in and the first number is four and the second number is six great let's move on next up though i do want to show you guys the spider skin here it is real quick in action nothing too crazy it is really creepy though and it is one of my favorite skins i love it but here it is Now, as of right now, that's all I've got. There's a bunch more Easter eggs, a lot more secrets that we haven't yet found. I'm going to be doing a live stream later today looking for those. Not to mention there is a brand new piggy update also coming out today. We're going to be getting another skin in the game, and we're also going to be getting some secret notes, some more secret notes around the map. And on top of that, we're also going to be getting another Easter egg quest hunt, just like all the other ones that Minitune has done. So lots of stuff going on today. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you join us in our live stream later today. We're going to be hunting down all of this, checking out the new update, checking out the new skin, and trying to figure out all of these secrets because there is a lot going on in this chapter. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. Again, make sure you subscribe. Leave your Roblox name down below in the comment section. Keep using Star Code Rule Creek, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!